Hello. So welcome to the last week of Ruth. Yes, I know technically over the last five weeks we've now read all of Ruth uh, through. Uh, I want to recommend though, this is just going to be a week where I'm just going to do a bit of an overview of the whole book of Ruth together. Uh, and if you haven't read all of it or there's chunks of it you haven't read, why don't you go back and read that now? Well, my challenge even to you is why not, before we even get into this video, have a read of the whole of Ruth. It's not very long. Um, just to give you that perspective of what it is, to put those words fresh in your heart and your mind. Honestly, Ruth has never been a book of the Bible previously that I've engaged much with. But then when I started doing some work and I was looking again at Ruth, I was using some resources uh, released by the LICC and it really helped open up the book of Ruth to me in a way that I hadn't engaged with before. What I found was working through the book itself and working through some of the resources from LICC, um, I found that it is a book that demonstrates the deep, deep love of God for us all. And yes, the culture and the context of Ruth is very, very different to the culture and context in which we find ourselves today. But its themes are still ever present and ever relevant in our lives today. The thematic journey of Ruth seems to cover things like grief, loss, letting go and moving forwards, relying on God, God's love breaking through, love requiring us to step out, love affirming people and love redeeming people. Wow, those themes are still relevant today. That's an incredible journey that Ruth, to the book of Ruth takes us on. And as I say, every one of these steps are still relevant today because they're all still experiences and expressions we're walking through today. So whether Ruth and Naomi were coming to terms with grief and loss, uh, processing what that meant for their lives moving forward, or whether they were planning what to do next and stepping into the next chapter of their lives, or whether they were simply clinging on to God in spite of their desperate circumstances, something stands out for me. God's love for this family. At no point were these people forgotten by God. This didn't mean that their lives were smooth sailing. They both had to deal with grief, loss, uncertainty, the possibility of being homeless, eating scraps of food left by the workers of the field, having to be totally reliant on the goodness of other people. This was not an easy life, but they were loved and God never forgot them. Sometimes we think oh, the love of God means it's easy life. No, it doesn't. On every step of their journey, Naomi and Ruth kept trusting in God and his goodness and his faithfulness to them. Sometimes really easy to rely on the goodness and faithfulness of God when things are going well. But life doesn't always go well all the time. Sometimes when life throws us a curveball, it can be a real struggle to live this way. Naomi and Ruth remained faithful to God and one another despite the challenges that they faced in their lives. This is a book about the faithfulness of God to us and how we can show the faithfulness of God to other people as well. This book has inspired me to keep loving, to keep doing what's right regardless of the season I'm in and to keep putting my trust in God and his deep, deep love for me. Naomi and Ruth didn't experience the love of God from a God who was distant on a cloud, but through the people around them in their lives. We are to be signs of God's love for people. Are we? The New Testament and the teachings of Jesus continue to challenge us with this. When I read passages like 1 Corinthians 13 and Romans 12, I'm reminded that we are always called to be examples of God's deep, deep love for us by demonstrating that deep, deep love of God to each other. Just as we've seen evidenced here in the book of Ruth, Jesus himself challenges the disciples in John 13 that people will know that they're disciples by how they love. How we demonstrate God's deep, deep love for us to others has always been important and it continues to be important today. The biggest encouragement I take from the book of Ruth is that God's love for us is constant in every season of our lives. 
The challenge I take from Ruth is, will I, regardless of my season, continue to show that deep, deep love of God to other people as well?